Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Explorers here. Today's tutorial we're going to be looking at creating navigation. The easiest way to create navigation is to start with using the map. Locate the place you want to go to, tap it, then just click the green routing icon that's sitting at the end of that pop-up. If your device is online, this will pop up with the options to select different modes. By default, it will be driving. Based on your selection, the system will then go and fetch routing calculations for that segment. If this place is your end destination, you don't need to do any more from this point, other than if you're ready to go, press the green button labeled Begin Navigation. Now the system will offer, if it can, alternative routing options between those two places. You get to have a look at the screen for each of those. If you zoom in as I'm showing here, you'll see the distance calculated and also the time. And you just select the accept button based on the color coding of the route shown. Now there is another option other than accept and have a look here. I've highlighted there's a change menu. At the moment, if you tap that, It'll show that I've got driving selected, but I can actually now recalculate using a different mode, walking, cycling, and the final one is discard. Once you accept the calculated route, the navigator will commence guidance and you will hear a voice prompt. The map screen will show the route with a yellow line as shown here, and the nav panel will be minimized. If you're online during travel and you deviate from the course, the settings uh, will auto recalculate the route for you unless you go into settings and turn off this option. Once you've initiated active navigation, the mode symbol is going to appear on the map screen um, as shown here. You can just tap this to open the navigation panel again and you, the navigation panel has that cross. Um, you just Click that to close the panel. So you're not actually ending the navigation by uh, clicking that cross. All you're doing is minimizing the panel. There's another way to actually close it and you'll see end sitting at the top. Um, and there's also at the bottom of the open navigation panel, um, a close navigation button. During the active navigation, however, there's one more feature on the map that you might be interested in using. On the left hand side, you see an arrow. If you tap this, this will open up a panel full of uh, text prompts. These are actually the turn by turn instructions. And by having it here, it means that you can actually look ahead if you wish to see what those instructions are before they appear and before you arrive at each point. At the beginning of this tutorial, I said it was easiest to use the map to locate your places, but you can use this magnifying icon to find places as well. This opens the data panel, which is a menu on the right hand side. At the top is places, select that. The default list view is Explorers. The first thing you can do is use the search bar at the top, type what you're looking for, or just scroll down the list. Now on the right hand side of the list, is a pull down and this gives you different sort orders for how that list is presented. The whole point here is once you've located a place you want to use, you finger swipe left and that will reveal the action buttons. The one you're looking for is the one at the end, the green route icon. Press that and that place will immediately be added into your navigation panel. You can also create navigation that has multiple destinations or stops. You will just be adding places one after the other. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to add multiple stops to the one nav plan. Here I'm using the search from the places menu to be able to left swipe and select places to add to the nav plan. I'm accepting the routing option as shown and it builds my route. Now I'm going to find the next place by using the map. I'm tapping an icon using the green route icon. And again, looking at the route, selecting the blue or the purple, which shows me distance and time based on the selected mode. Here I'm actually going to insert rather than add to the end. This way I can select in what order and exactly where I want to position that place amongst the existing nav plan. You can insert before any of the other places shown in the list and you'll get those prompts in front of you. So now let's look at how to edit your tricks. You can reorder any places in your plan just by tapping, dragging and dropping. Recalculations will be given on the screen for you to accept those changes and your yellow route line will automatically adjust. 
To delete places from your nav plan, use the swipe left action and you'll see the red delete button. Tap that. If there's any recalculations to be done, that will be put on the screen for you to accept. Saving the nav plan means that you can open up a navigation that's already been created and use it when you're offline, retaining all the turn by turn instructions. So to go about that, let me just show you an open nav plan. At the bottom of this nav panel is the save function. I'll highlight that for you now. Simply click that and up comes the prompts to save your personal trek where you will give it a name and a description. And I highly recommend that you make a selection of what vehicle type it is suitable for. Select from the list. There's some um, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, motorbike, that sort of thing. And as soon as that's saved, that's just going to make it easier for you to uh, use filters in the map layers to determine what types of treks you want to view at any point in time. So a saved nav plan becomes known in the system as a personal trek. Here I've turned on the um, map layers to highlight treks and I've got a black line showing my trek. I can tap on it and get the name to verify that's the one I want. If I want to use it, you'll see there's a route icon. You press the route, route icon and that loads everything that was in the trip plan back into the navigation panel and then when you're ready to go, you simply press the green start navigation button. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial for creating navigation. If you need more tips, just refer to the user manual. Thank you.